The madness has reached epic proportions in the United States. It's getting to be like the Salem witch hunts. If this is pushed through, which it very well could be, it looks like it will be, this will harm everyone. This will harm Australians getting mega packs from Tesla. This will harm Tesla enormously. This will harm US citizens. This is extremely negative, could have an enormous impact on the renewable energy revolution worldwide. And I can't believe the kind of things that politicians in the United States are willing to say and do for their own personal political means, trying to make themselves look like they're doing everyone a service when actually they're enormously harming the United States. I think guys, the United States is making some huge mistakes. Now they're going too far with blocking everything Chinese. I understand tariffs, I understand taxes, but the extremity now that we're hearing, we're hearing both sides of the aisle from politics making these claims, we should block everything Chinese, even licensing a product. I mean, not even allowing China to come in and manufacture it, but even just allowing Tesla and Ford to license the technology and manufacture it themselves. I mean, basically we're, we're talking politicians banning that. That is extreme and that is going to hurt the EV industry enormously. In fact, I believe, to be honest, the United States is going to come, become essentially a, a backwater. We're talking like the South back in the, back in the late 19th century. Um, really, this is going to enormously impact potentially destroy the United States' technological base. They don't have the battery technology. The US just does not have it in terms of mass manufacturing. It doesn't have the lithium ion phosphate battery technology. It needs this technology to make EVs affordable and high quality, and it doesn't have it. It doesn't need to allow, I mean, I understand America doesn't need to allow Chinese companies to come in and set up big businesses there. If they don't want to do that, I understand that. But simply to ban the licensing of that technology, that to me, in my opinion, is insane. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with me. And um, you know what, guys? Honestly, I'm excited to see these new batteries. You know, the Shenzhen Plus battery, which I believe is the battery pack that Ford and Tesla want to build in the United States, is amazing. It's the highest energy density mass produced lithium ion phosphate battery in the world. It's capable of charging at 600 kilowatt charging speeds. 600. In, in the big Achilles, Achilles heel of lithium ion phosphate in the past was their performance in cold temperatures. No longer an issue. In fact, now, even at minus 20 degrees, minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit, these batteries have almost no degradation. They basically maintain almost exactly the same. They lose about 5%. So 600 kilowatt charging, no more issues with the cold. Um, these batteries also were they're basically guaranteed to last, I believe, around 500,000 miles, and they have the highest energy density, 205 watt hours per kilogram of energy density. Compare that to the existing LFP batteries that Tesla are using in the Model Y and the Model 3. Energy density is only about 160 to 170 watt hours per kilogram. This would be huge. This is what Ford's actually waiting for. Ford is saying they're pausing their EV production, and they're essentially saying, we're doing what we did in Europe. In Europe, what did Ford do? Ford paused the Ford Explorer to wait for these, I believe, to wait for CATL's Chilin 2.0 battery, which has very high energy density LFP technology as well. So now we've got um, huge problems potentially for Tesla and Ford, and this is really, really disappointing. I think a lot of people are saying these batteries would be excellent. Ford and Tesla were going to be manufacturing them, right? They are meant to be building factories, employing Americans. Essentially, yeah, CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, will come in, train Tesla, Ford stuff, how to use this stuff, and license this technology. But Ford and Tesla will own the facilities. They'll own the manufacturing stuff. They'll, you know, all that they'll do is pay some sort of small royalty fee to CATL. And also, Keep in mind, Tesla and Ford would be getting these battery minerals, the materials, right? Not from China, but from free trade partners or from the United States. Two top Republican lawmakers, in addition, to be honest, to numerous other politicians over the past few months, have been asking the US Defense Department to add Chinese battery maker CATL to a restricted list of companies allegedly working with Beijing's military. This is just, guys, honestly, this is 
out of control maniac nonsense like this is trump level insanity guys yeah okay if you love trump i understand he does some of the things he says make sense he basically mixes some good stuff with a whole lot of crap <laughs> but that's, how, that's how we get a bit confused here but these guys come on this is just politics this is pure politics this has nothing to do with logic companies added to the list cannot receive u.s military contracts and being added to the list carries significant reputational risks in other words if chl is added to this list or cato's added to this list by the US government, they are going to be massively economically affected. Senator Marco, Marco Rubio, the vice chairman of the Intelligence Committee, and Congressman John Molinar, who chairs the House Select Committee on China, asked Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to immediately place CATL, CATL, formerly known as China's contemporary Amperex technology company, not owned by the Chinese government. It's all completely privately owned, as far as I know, as far as everyone knows. I mean, this is a publicly listed company. There are hedge funds in the United States who are invested in this company. Uh, I believe BlackRock is one of its largest investors, not to say I like BlackRock, but you know, they're not owned by the Chinese government, that's for sure. They said, this will send, if we blacklist CATL, it will send a powerful signal to US companies that are currently weighing partnerships with Cato. What would be the advantage for the United States doing this? I don't understand how there's any advantage to them for, to doing this. All it does is harm American interests. All it does is harm American consumers. It harms Tesla. It harms Ford. You know, I, just, I really don't see how this is beneficial. Well, what are Tesla going to do? What are Ford going to do? Go around and say, oh, great. Well, okay, in that case, if we can't get these batteries, well, we'll spend the next 10 years developing our own lithium ion phosphate. Ford and Tesla have not really, they haven't invested in developing LFP. It would take them... It would take them a decade to get this kind of technology. And by then, they would be so far behind. People would be laughing at America. They'd be laughing at America saying, what are you doing? I mean, what are you using these old old LFP batteries for? We're now on to version seven with energy density that's double what you had 10 years ago. That's how fast the industry is moving. So I don't understand the benefits and the reasons for this. But anyway, if you do, if you understand this, like, guys, I'm not interested if you're interested in the politics. Please don't comment if you're if you're a hardcore Democrat or hardcore Republican, no one wants to know that. No one cares. Let's focus on facts here. Let's focus on the battery technology. Let's focus on real things. Anyhow, CATL said its battery products have helped millions of Americans during power cuts and are passive products. When they say millions of Americans, okay, here's the pro here's the bigger problem. Tesla's mega packs, right? That they build in California, they use CATL battery cells. Tesla are screwed if CHL is banned from America. What are they going to do? They, they use LFP batteries in them. They're much cheaper. They last very a very, very long time. And that's, in fact, the, the batteries that Tesla use in their mega packs and power walls all around the world now. This would be really, really bad for Tesla. So here's what CATL said. Um, our battery products have helped millions of Americans during power cuts and are passive products that pose no more of a threat to national security than a brick. The company said this um, lawmaker's letters makes accusations that are factually inaccurate, highly emotional, absolute bullshit, which they are. They didn't say that. They said they're completely groundless. CHL is not controlled by the Chinese government. They're not. In fact, the Chinese government said that. <laughs> they said themselves that they are concerned about Cato's uh, monopoly on the battery market in China. They don't have a monopoly. They have 35% of global production. But, you know, obviously the Chinese government think they're getting too big for their boots. Anyhow. Here's the thing, right? It's true. It's true that Tesla uses their battery cells. But like CATL said, they are no more a threat to national security than a brick. In fact, they're less threat. It's just a battery cell. There is no computers in this stuff, guys. Tesla simply get the cells and repackage them. They're using all their own software, their own wiring. Tesla's doing all the work. All they're doing is getting the battery cell in a basically very raw format. There is no software here whatsoever. There's no spying going on. You know, this is a very, very simple battery here. It's not a pack. Tesla are doing all that software themselves. That's all Tesla. So this stuff, it's just made up crap from the politicians who are grandstanding. Now, guys, I recently did a video, which I've received some emails from angry, angry Democrats about Senator Elizabeth Warren. On the channel here, I don't have an interest in either Republicans or Democrats, but I'm going to call out idiots on both sides. There are Muppets on both sides doing and saying things that are hurting Americans. They're hurting America. They are. And if you're a Republican or a Democrat, don't support these dickheads because just because you're a Republican, just because 
you're a Republican. Don't come along and say, oh, well, I'm a Republican. Screw you, Electric Viking, because <laughs> because I love every Republican. I don't care if they're going to go and tell me to jump off a bridge and kill myself. I'm going to consider it if they say that. That's what you're saying. So please, if you support red, blue, I understand. But you've got to draw a line. Insanity is insanity. Guys, please end the insanity. When you have these Republicans, when you have people, Democrats, either side, you have people representing you guys as America. Keep in mind, the world is watching this insanity, this madness going on in American politics. They're watching these debates. It's an embarrassment. These politicians are a freaking embarrassment. There are amazing Americans. There are amazing, there are amazing Americans. You know what? There are, I've met Americans who I think, what a leader, what a champion, what a legend. I don't have the ability, the mental foresight, the, the incredible skills, the talents, the genius, that this person has, I can't believe this person's such a legend. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that person be phenomenal as a US president? But you know what? Those people are being discouraged from entering politics because of idiots like this. Idiots like this make politics look like a shit show. They do. They make a politics look like a disgrace. Therefore, if you are an absolute champion, right? If you're someone who would be an excellent CEO, an excellent leader in any company, you're just going to go, Screw that. I'm not getting involved in this cesspit. This is a a mess. It's a disgrace. Why would I want to be involved in US politics? So don't support these people. Don't support them. You know, come out and say, I'm a Republican, but I don't support these morons. I'm a Democrat, but I don't support whoever made these comments. Senator Elizabeth Warren going off going off the handle all the time. Don't support these people. Don't I mean realistically, let's 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 have a political party of our own. It's called intelligence. It's called renewable energy. It's called having a better future for our children, regardless of all this nonsense being made up. Let's, it's called solar. It's called battery packs are good. It's called EVs are good. Clean air is good. Improving the planet is good. All of this stuff. Let's forget this red, this blue, and actually work on having the best place we can for our children. Thanks for watching.